Hey guys and welcome to the video. I am so excited. I've literally been waiting months to make this video to play with this eyeshadow palette. The Too Faced Major Love. This was leaked at the exact same time this Too Faced palette was leaked and this is a phenomenal palette. You guys should go check out my review. I love it. It's super cute and just light. So go check out that review. I did a couple eye looks with that. But when I saw the color story for this guy, I I was like, yes, that's my jam. Every single shade in here, my jam. A total statement in my collection, this could be. And you guys know I love Too Faced. I love their palettes, their formula. I find them to be incredibly good. I never have a problem with them. And I always know that if I pick up a palette, I'm gonna have a good time with it. So I am so excited about this one because again, the color story is so cute. And the packaging, I mean, come on, let's just, Look at the packaging, so cute. So it smells like fresh green pears. Honestly, I don't know what fresh green pears smell like, um, so we'll see. Uh, but here is the palette, same as the Unicarton color story, super freaking cute. I mean, it smells like something, I just don't know if it smells like pears, but let's just get you a little bit more of a close up. How cute, what is that? Oh, there's just a little bit of glue uh, from the pans, but I'm so excited to create a look today for you guys because I have a lot of videos that I need to be filming, but um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to do this. So if you are into these types of videos from me, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it would mean so much, especially if you've already clicked on this video. Hello, it would mean a whole lot, and let's go ahead and get started. So of course we're going to use my MAC Paint Pot. I use the shade Painterly, which kind of has kind of a nudish pink tinge to it. Um, maybe not really pink, but I like it as an eyeshadow base for my shadows. And I used to use the Zoeva Matte Primer, but I've always heard this was like the one to use. And now that I've used it, it's like I can't go back and, um, yeah, you guys should definitely make the investment and try this because so far I've really not had an issue with anything that I've ever laid on top of it because it's that good. So I really wish I would have just bought this sooner, but you know what? We learned from our mistakes and now we have literally the best eye primer in the entire world. <laughs> I'm also using my E4 brush from Blinged Brushes. This is my favorite brush for applying my eye primer. It's just perfect and flat and it's just, it's the perfect brush. Plus, they're so cute. You could use my code and save 10% off your purchase at blingbrushes.com. My code is Connor. I'll have it linked below. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into swatching the palette. Sometimes I like to do these kinds of videos where I just kind of go with the flow with you guys instead of just doing the eye look and, you know, playing music over. This one I was really excited about, so I want to do this and just do a whole look. So let me go ahead and swatch on the back of my hand and show you the shades. Okay, so here are the shades swatched for you. I have to, like, turn my wrist because I accidentally just went, um that way. So here are the shades. Really, really pretty. I did have some issue with this pink shade. I had to actually swatch it like four times because it wasn't really as pigmented and it was very hard in the pan. And then this shade here was very crumbly. So I feel like that one would be one that will be a little bit more troublesome to work with. This bottom one, it's a darker shade in Too Faced. You usually have those darker shades that are very dry feeling in the pan, but will blend out really good which is that that's how this one felt so I do have high hopes for it I just wanted to note that I never note how they swatch and stuff for me but I just noticed that these were having a little bit of an issue than when I typically ever review palettes I don't have like very much of an issue. So my bling brushes are currently dirty and I need to clean them. So I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill. This is a JH31 and I'm going to actually take this pink shade that I had a little problem swatching and I am going to apply this to my crease. 
And this is why swatches mean absolutely nothing because I'm getting really good pigment and it's going exactly where I'm laying down and not giving me any trouble. Pretty. I'm going to zoom you in now for the rest of the look. I really like this pink too. This is like a perfect Barbie pink. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go pretty simple. So I'm gonna take this lighter green shade and I feel like these two together are giving me mm, early 2000s vibes. So I'm going to actually pair these two together. And I'm just gonna pop this on with my finger. Hmm. I don't know how far I want to take this color. Okay. Then I'm going to take that pink shade again. And I'm just going to do this number right here. I think it's just super simple and cute. And then I'm going to take a smaller Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH40. And I'm just going to run the pink really lightly under my eyes. This is actually a really cute little soft look. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little more of that green shimmer. I'm just gonna boop, 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 right there. Kind of marry the two together a little bit. And that's this first look. Of course, we'll do lashes when we're done with the other look. So this next look, I wanna go a little bit more dramatic, so. Let's go in with this matte shade right here with my JH35. This one is a very powdery shade. Just note that. Very powdery. We're just... Okay. Let's go ahead and start putting this in the crease. And making this our transition. See, it's a really, really beautiful color if you knock off a lot of that pigment, so it's not super intense right off the bat, so you can get a handle on where you want to place the color, and you are able to build it up this way. Like, I want to focus it more on the outer portion of my eye, and then just kind of slightly bring it in. it more to the top. I truly feel like this is going to be an issue because just I'm barely putting my finger in there and look at it. It's so like lightly put in there. I feel like it's just not pressed good enough because it's just so crumbly. I'm actually going to take my finger and press it into the pan and see if that's gonna, no, see, it just mushes. That's so weird. Anyways, I'm gonna take this shade now and I'm just going to lightly tap that same brush and barely just start poking it on my outer corner. And I tapped off a good bit of that pigment and this is a very dark pigmented shade. So you wanna make sure you really tap so you don't, you know, over put a color down and mess up everything you just did and then I'm just going to start swiping it in that oh, wind shield wiper motion. And I'm going to start bringing it towards my edge. You want to do the outer V which is what I call like the bop bop so you can give your eyes some good shape. And then just blending and putting the product where I want it. And I'm not really focusing on my actual lid and making sure it looks good because we're going to cover that up with a shimmer. I'm just going to add a tiny smidge more just right there. Cute. We have cute dark and mysterious is what we got going on. Okay, so, hmm, 
Do I want to take the green or do I want to take the gold? Ooh, I think I want to do both. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so I'm feeling both. I'm going to do... Ooh, wait. No, okay. I'm going to take the green on my finger, the dark green. And I'm going to poke and tap right here in my outer lid area. It's okay if it gets up in the um, transition crease area. I'm just gonna lightly tap the sparkle up there so it just kind of all goes together. And I'm just barely tapping this on. I'm not like trying to swipe it on and really foil out the color. I'm just doing an initial tap and then I'm gonna take this gold here and I'm gonna do the same. I don't want it to be too, like super, you know, intense. So I'm just going to lightly tap this color on, like so. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. I'm going to go in with this shade again and then I'm going to just run this very lightly right above and this is just going to blend everything together and I'm going to blend it over and just carry it over, do a little buffing to the top of that darker shade. Okay, now I'm going to take my tiny little JH40 again and I'm going to take the darker shade that we used in the outer portion of the eye. I'm going to start smoking out this lower lash area. And then taking our transition lighter brown color and running that on the lower lash line that doesn't have the darker portion. And I'm just going to lightly do it. And I'm going to bring that over. So this is what it looks like not really yet foiling it or anything, not wetting it, and not pressing the colors down onto my lid, and it looks super good. And I like the like sweet over here and like the brute, you know? So the only two shades I didn't use are these two, and I wasn't really sure what to do with them. I feel like I don't even know what this is, if this is a shimmer or what. <laughs> Like, it's just, it's very soft, but I don't know. I didn't know what to do with it. Maybe we can use this as a brow bone highlight. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this random little JH40 uh, brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that light color. Let's see what it does for a brow bone highlight. Oh, actually works really well. Good. Good to know. I'm going to take a little bit and throw it in my inner corner and that looks so good. Okay, we like this shade for that purpose. And we like it so much you're going to put it on our nose. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like pretty. Okay. I 
wonder if they have this color in a highlight shade because oh my gosh is it pretty <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do liner and lashes and i'll be back to show you the final look and give you my final thoughts on this palette okay so here are the two eye looks with the mascara which i'm using ofra mascara and ofra liner and huda liner on the bottom um and noella lashes of course so this is what it looks like um not bad. I mean, this looks like it came from the Urban Decay Wild West palette, and this looks like it came from the Lizzie McGuire ColourPop palette. Uh, I got to thinking, like, why do these two look really familiar to me? So if you guys have those two palettes, you're not going to need this, but it's still really cute, and I had a fun time using it, plus that first shade is an excellent highlighting shade. I mean, wow. So final thoughts on this palette. I had a really good time playing with this. Do I need it in my collection? Mm, maybe not because I do have the Lizzie McGuire palette, but that's kind of like something of mine that I don't really want to ever touch because I just was a Lizzie McGuire fan my whole life. So I think I might just dip into this because I really do like the shades in here. This was like a really cool highlighting shade and I, I really like this. I like this shade a lot uh, just for like a highlighter. It's so good. Um, if you guys know if they have a highlighter that's like just like this, let me know because it's really good for like a highlighter, um, <laughs> which is probably a whole reason why I would keep this. But I actually really, really like these shades. Um, this one was just a little weird to me. Uh, I'm going to play with that like further because I do plan on putting this in my everyday makeup drawer for February. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. So come March, you will have a huge full like opinion on the palette and whatnot. But anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you for being here and just chatting with me about the eye look and all of that um i'm very excited about this i think that you shouldn't pick it up right now because these palettes always go on sale for like mm, $14 16 something like that really cheap instead of like the 27 or however much this is so always always wait on these to go on sale if you want them because they're worth it when they're a lot cheaper I do still like them at the full price but they're definitely worth it when they're a lot cheaper and the packaging is always cute and they're just something fun to collect as well but um yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching follow us and opinions down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!